Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Gigi Coptic, homeschooling mom of four kids, and I've been putting together a few videos in this homeschooling series just to give you some information on what homeschooling is like and how you can get started. So I'll try to link below some of the videos that I've already uploaded and those include our homeschool area. So I'll give you a tour of this space. Um, I've showed you our schedule and I've kind of answered some basic questions among other videos. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted whenever I upload any new videos. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some organizational ideas and strategies that I have this year. And I say this year because each year I feel like I do something different. And the reason why I'm sharing them is because um, I find a lot of value in kind of looking and seeing what other people do for their organizational strategies and ideas just to get inspiration. And I hope and pray that this kind of does the same for you. So I'm going to take you through three of my uh, kind of like organized uh, storage areas of our homeschool and hopefully you can um, find some help and inspiration from them. Let's go. All right, so welcome back to our homeschool area. This is our homeschool room. It's the basement of our house and that's where we do school. So I wanna show you three areas where I keep stuff organized. That is my school, my school cupboard. And way back there are bins, which are over here and our drawers, which are back there. And I'll take you to them one by one to kind of show you how I store things and how I keep things organized. So the first area I want to show you is this school cupboard and this toddler locked because it's a mom area. So the kids need my permission to get in here and it kind of looks like this. Now minus this horrible shelf here, it's pretty organized, but I can't seem to get on top of this one. And I kind of take you through it to show you what I put in each bin. This here is labeled activities. So what's in here is like magnet activities you know those workbooks that have like just empty faces and then like stickers with eyes and noses and stuff just basically things to keep the kids busy learning um but they're not really craft so that's what goes here um behind there there's one called water play uh, so i have kind of like funnels syringes things like that in there which it used to be useful here when the kids used to have water play i would bring like a water table and put it here and and have them play when they were younger but now that there's four of them it just might be crazy uh this is um where i keep all the letters the letters the alphabets and stuff that go on these bulletin boards so if i'm ever going to swap out letters and stuff this is where I get it over here. And that's kind of the top shelf. Then over here is just like puffy paint and and um, I think that's like a puzzle or something that didn't fit anywhere else. Then on this shelf, I have some craft supplies. So it's like popsicle sticks and, and craft sets, which I love. Any craft set that comes already pre-packaged. I wanna show you something, what I mean. So anything like this that comes into like little packages that each package can make one of these little craft things, that is, um, that's really useful to me. So in the craft bin, there's also things like um, little construction paper, um, little foam sets, things like that. Um, those go in the craft bin. Then over here, this bin is titled Manipulatives, and you'll see like a deck of cards. There's alphabet um, tiles, alphabet stamps, um, things like that that they can manipulate and learn with. Um, dice are in here, things like that. This one's labeled cut and paste, so it's all our glue, tape, and scissors. There's glue sticks in here, and these are the things that I find are very important to always be stocked. This is our sticker bin, so sometimes I'll just give them a piece of construction paper and give them this bin to pick one sheet of stickers, and that's their craft. Um, so that's also very important to me. Down here, this is uh, one of the most used bins. It's titled Big Supplies. So I have here our like giant um, book stapler, um, any extra supplies like pens, cotton balls, um, our um, hole puncher, um, any cue cards, all the supplies I try to put in here. 
Then we have our colors. So that's like markers, crayons, all kinds of fun stuff like that. I have this labeled common use because that's just stuff I grab all the time. So there's just like the my favorite whiteboard markers, um, the tape that I use to put the brown paper over there on that table, um, white out, things like that. So those are just commonly used things. Then I have this bin of diapers and wipes because ever since I started homeschooling, I've always had somebody in diapers. I've actually had somebody in diapers ever since 2013 nonstop. So, woo. This is like workbooks central. Um, so the kids can sometimes just kind of pull things out of there. There's even some wooden puzzles and stuff. I really need to sort this one out. Um, then here I have paper things. So that's like construction paper, uh, plastic sleeves, cardstock, extra printer paper, and then specialty workbooks. So these are like French workbooks, Arabic workbooks, things like that, that I want to like eventually get to. Um, and then up here I have my label maker and that's also where our ink cartridges go. And since that's empty, it means we're, we need to buy more. Up there, that's all of our um, board games. And then here, um, I have these three teddies that come and visit us at school a lot to teach us certain like le lessons and stuff. So they'll come down from there and come to the brown carpet. If we're talking about manners or respect or something, they kind of do a little skit for us. So that is the school closet. All right, let's move on to that area. So I'm going to start with the drawers over here. Our drawers, these three first ones are, um, each one is for a child. So this is for my um, preschoolers workbooks. Um, there's also a DVD player in here because we used to use it for one of our curriculum, but we don't anymore. So there's just like a couple of workbooks that he uses. And then this is for our first grader, which he uses a Becca, and I will do a curriculum video about that soon. And that's his reading book. And this is for my kindergartner. So she uses a Becca for writing and reading, but I all I use a different program for her math and phonics. Um, so those three drawers are for that. This is an important drawer. Oh, it's locked. Just get this magnet thing. This is important because of our toddler. Um, so I have here like some posters that I was using for the kids math and stuff. But what's important is like all these manipulatives that I use all the time. So there's like flashcards and any um, anything that goes on the um, bulletin board, like the verse of the week and the service of the week and the themes and stuff like that, I have already pre-printed and kind of put underneath here and on top. So behind these things are, are all like the verses and the, um, the different things that I use for the bulletin boards. I just come grab them from here. I try to print all these things out and cut them out and have them here before the school year even starts. So I'm not kind of fumbling through the different months. Then this drawer here, also locked. This drawer here has our big games. Um, so these are things I've either made or bought, um, like felt pieces or things like, it's like a clothespin and you have to match the letters. Like I made a little fishing game for them one time. So it's, it's in here, all the pieces are in here. Um, there's like, um, word bowling so they can just put these and and throw a ball at certain words that they know things like that and I do lock these because I don't want them to play with them when it's not time um, here is just pieces of the curriculum that I use for our kindergartner and our preschooler this drawer is usually full I'm just in the process of swapping out curriculum and um, it's usually just material that looks just like that and I love sorting things in bins so they're not all mixed up. This drawer has a paper towel and plastic bags. And it sounds like it doesn't belong, but it's actually very important. <laughs> so that when we have garbage and stuff, I don't have to go upstairs and spills. That just happens way too frequently. This drawer keeps all of our puzzles, learning puzzles, and um, just like little manipulative games and stuff like that. Things that I can maybe give my toddler when we're in the middle of um, of learning something. 
And I did show this in our homeschool tour. I keep a binder for each one of the kids so I can keep track of all the work they're doing and stuff like that. I keep their, um, their completed work in here so that I have kind of like I keep track of all the material that they've covered um, each year. Um, all right, so this is the last place I wanted to show you in terms of organization. So here, these kind of changed my life when I got them. These are the kids' bins. So they keep in there their uh, quiet time journal, their unit study notebook, their pencil case, and any activities that they're kind of in the middle of working on. And that's been amazing because... I don't have to go and search for these things like right when it's quiet time the kids I just tell them go get your quiet time journal and they go to they know to come over here and grab it so that's been really helpful they know where their own stuff is they're responsible for own markers things like that so that's been very helpful and of course our toddler saw that her three siblings have bins and she doesn't so I rushed to Dollarama and got her a matching one so she has one that she just puts whatever in there um, up top here, I put um, the books that we use very regularly in our homeschool. So that's this stack of books. This is our um, Bible devotional we use every day, our social studies book, our um, read aloud notebook, and any curriculum like kind of supplemental readings that I do. This is This binder is my notes for each day of school. And then this big bin over here is just like supplemental activities once the kids are done and interested in doing something else. So if my preschooler is done and I'm still working with the other two kids, I can tell him, do you want a sticker book or do you want a puzzle or do you want one of those wipe, like these wipe clean books, which are amazing because he just writes um, using like a dry erase marker and it just wipes away. So I have a whole bunch of those. Um, and some puzzles and activities and stuff like that um, so he can help himself to some of those as well so those are organization to be honest there's still a little bit of stuff that gets stored this is supposed to be our prayer room but it ends up having a bit of um, like big supplies like more construction paper or extra notebooks if I need to store them things like that and our brown paper that covers this table the roles of it are in the office. <laughs> so that's where we store everything. All of the school supplies and stuff is here. Um, and I think that's it. That's all the organization that I can share with you today. Please feel free to comment below and let me know what would be helpful if you wanted a specific question answered about homeschooling or, um, or a specific video you want me to make so you can see something. Let me know, I'd be very glad to answer to the best of my ability. Um, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can see more of these videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.